Hello, is anyone looking at what Kathy Wood is doing with NMDM? About two weeks ago, I made a video on NMDM following up on my price target. In last video, I mentioned this could be a $15 stock and I said I could see NMDM go much higher. When I make a video, they take time because I have conviction in what I say, guys, and the activity I see from Kathy Wood is clear as a day that things are heating up and ARK Invest's secret sauce isn't so secret if you understand what her motivation is with NMDM. That's exactly what we have to discuss in this video. And I'm here because I'm trying to smash those home runs and make you guys stupid rich with these picks. And all I ask today is you guys subscribe, join the family here on YouTube because I pick winners and analyze stocks so you have the straight line to the heavy pockets that you're looking for. And Webull is still hooking you up with four free stocks so you have a couple more days to take advantage of that when you deposit 100 bucks. Anyways, let's get into my financial model that I just ran most recently on my laptop and it gave me an estimated price target of $10 per share, which is shockingly where NMDM is stagnating today. It's also just above the $7.50 valuation that the company was valued at when it was raising $250 million in capital at the end of December. And we're now hovering around $10 and guys, we've got a lot to discuss in this video because this is a key level for NMDM and if things heat up, it doesn't take long for this stock to have some fast growth ahead of it. If you load up on this stock properly, the journey to the big bucks can happen very fast. And listen, Kathy Wood's experience in disruptive innovation has been a gem in the mud. As she picks up more shares, I expect this name to continue to heat up and increase in value. I ended up being right on the money when NMDM was $3 per share, and that is because I was looking at Kathy Woods. I did do my research based on her research, and what I'm about to show you guys gives me so much conviction that this stock is easily a $15 stock. The stock has gone higher than my previous bullish estimates, but the business growth has been picking up steam. Oh, and by the way, I have to show you guys proof that Kathy Wood is buying wheelbarrows full of this stock. Just check this image out. Just take a look. It's like Black Friday every single day in January. Almost 8 million in purchases for the week for RQ. Now, RQ has 2.36% invested in NMDM, which is going to be a pretty significant position for her. It's going up to that number 10 spot. And if I remember correctly, I previously said that this could be a 3.5% position for Kathy. That means this would be a top five or top six holding for this ETF. And here's the current top 10 weights in ARKQ. So the company could be somewhere in between, if you look over here, Kratos and Baidu for ARKQ, which would be an 80 million position roughly, and it's already over 50 million. So my prediction is Kathy will buy 30 more million worth of NMDM in ARKQ. Now for ARKW guys, we have to talk about that as well. NMDM is a 0.6 position, and that isn't as big as ARKQ. However, she's still building up a position in her other ETF there as well. A lot less weight, but I still like to see this name in multiple portfolios. It just confirms my conviction and also her conviction in the stock. Now, Nano Dimensions isn't really making a lot of profits or hand over fist bottom line cash right now. And it's not the most stable company out there, but ARK Invest sees opportunity in them and they are consistently buying, which to me means that Kathy obviously sees this company headed to roads of profits and innovation into the future. And I've seen this before when I was working at a hedge fund, they're picking up shares over multiple weeks trying to pick up a name at a desirable VWAP, which stands for Volume Weighted Average Price. It's just wild how Kathy is really taking her time though. I don't really understand that fully. I've been investing for eight years, probably next to all the older YouTubers, not the younger guys. I mean, I've been doing this forever and I don't fully understand why Kathy Wood takes her time to buy the stock if the whole public gets alerts and sees that she's increasing her position so other people are buying as she's buying. If you have any idea on why she is so slow, do let me know. That is the only thing that I'm a little bit confused about because basically what makes sense for Kathy and her team to buy as much shares as possible, as quickly as possible, so the shares don't run up on her. And by the way, since I mentioned comments, guys, please listen for 10 seconds. YouTube has scammers pretending to be me and pretending to be other YouTubers. All the YouTubers mentioned this. Please be careful. I'm never going to ask you to WhatsApp me or message me on any weird platform. I only communicate on my personal Instagram for questions about the course or on Discord if you guys want to chat or people can email me if they're students of the course, but I'm not going to be asking you or commenting, hey, WhatsApp my professional person. 
Those are just scammers, please do not fall for them. I always respond to positive comments, but be aware YouTube hasn't figured out how to deal with those scammers pretending to be us by having the same name and same image. So anything in the comment section that doesn't seem right to you, please do not fall for those type of people. <sighs> Okay, back to NMDM. One thing that sticks out to me is the CEO, Yoav Stern, and he is a very competent man. NMDM is based in Israel. Shout out to my friends in Israel. They have a lot of competent engineers. The CEO had this to say about the business of 3D printing, and this is his plans for growth. So it's faster because this 3D printing can happen all night long. It's cheaper, as yep. you're saying, taking two elements and now printing out and pumping out these 3D circuits, electric circuits um, for everything from defense, education. Um, the intellectual property is a key factor. I mean, so much of this yes. is national security, right? I mean, you talk about medical devices, all kinds of circuits. Yes. Yes. Um, what's next for the company? I mean, because you're talking about these big machines, a couple of refrigerators in size, um, how many places will you have from coast to coast or worldwide? How do you grow in the next one to five years? Okay, so first of all, we have by now 60 machines on four continents. Uh, half of it is in the United States and half is in the rest of the world. Uh, the machines are aimed at an industry which is a $65 billion industry, which is still doing it in the old style. And as I said, 85% of this industry is in the Far East. So the growth of our company comes from those these machines moving from being prototyping of PCBs to production of PCBs. And the minute you get into production of PCBs, it will enable a very strong trend that exists today of reshoring this PCB industry back to the continents. We're speaking about hundreds of thousands of machines Obviously, it'll start with dozens and hundreds. We already sold close to 100, as I said. And the, the vision here is that you are building an industry, as the gentleman before me mentioned, Industry 4.0. It's a clean industry. It's a fabrication that's in an environment that is non-abusive to the, to the, uh, to the um, ecology. And we are uh, talking and selling to organizations that are both government and academic and uh, um, major leading institutions in, uh, in industrial institutions. He mentioned bridging the gap between PCBs and semiconductor integrated circuits. And I'm not an engineer, but from the research I did, I believe this is exactly what Kathy Wood sees as a big opportunity Nano Dimensions is working on currently. It's fulfilling the industry need for faster and more reliable 3D printing. Let me remind you guys, because part of being a good investor is having conviction. When I start covering a stock that I own, I like to remind myself why I have conviction in this name to hold long and strong. So let's look at the demand. Nano Dimensions product is another company's capital. They make it easier and faster for other companies to make money. So there will always be demand for their products. From big corporations that have the budget to invest themselves, this is an easy play. They already work with the US Army and leading PCB technology companies. Nanotechnologies also benefits educational institutions. They already sold one of their printers to a university in Hong Kong. And what I really like is this stock is down a whole lot over the past five years. There's no question about it. If you look at the chart, this stock used to be an $88 stock. Just look at that huge sell-off. But Kathy sees something here, guys. In my opinion, NMDM is so interesting because it has two characteristics. It's a value play and a growth stock at the very same time. See, the stock was nearly $90, as I mentioned. It was an $88 stock. So it's a value stock in relation to what it used to be. But the 3D printing industry is a massive growth industry. So this stock has both components that are very favorable for it long term. I see Kathy Wood doubling down on her beliefs in 2021. And I pretty much see NMDM as her top five super play. Obviously, Tesla is number one because Kathy was the OG on that, along with Square and some genomic stocks. But then I basically see NMDM as something she's going to start talking about more and more. And if she goes out in public on CNBC or Yahoo Finance or any of those news platforms, and she starts mentioning this stock, we're only gonna see the stock heat up more. So I'll leave you with this piece of advice. If you wanna hit the market and make high returns, you wanna own innovative companies with competitive advantages. 
And a competitive advantage could be a good CEO, a good business model, a very low cost, a high profit margin. It could be so many things that help the company beat its competition. And that's one part of a growth portfolio. But the other part, because Warren Buffett says rule number one is not to lose money. And rule number two is basically to look at the rule number one. I only cover maybe a dozen stocks on the channel, guys. This is on purpose. If you look at 100 stocks, well, you cannot be an expert on 100 stocks. You just don't have the time or the ability to look at so many names. However, I caution you as well, you do not wanna own one, two, or three stocks because that is not a diversified portfolio. So I do recommend having NMDM as part of your portfolio. Obviously, do your own research because nobody can predict the future. No YouTuber, not Warren Buffett, no billionaire. We don't know. All we can say is that this stock has a very strong business and long term. It only makes logical sense, guys, that this stock will be going up because we can't say what's going to happen tomorrow, but we can say in a couple of years, this is a long term growth play. And in my prediction, Nano Dimensions could be a $20 stock. No problem. No questions asked if they continue to increase their business and if progress continues as well. This could happen in 2021, but going into the future, this could be a $50 stock or even a $90 stock back to its peak if the CEO really drives innovation and the company continues to sell. I believe Kathy's short-term price target is probably $20 per share, but I wouldn't be surprised if her long-term price target for Nano Dimensions was $50 per share. All right, guys, join Patreon. I'm gonna have a post on all the stocks that I cover on this channel, and I'll be back here very soon with another video. Be aggressive in learning, folks, but be safe in investing.